February the 16th, 2021. Guys, you're looking out uh, in my part of my backyard here. You can see we're getting snow flurries. Most of what's on the ground, though, that looks white and it's on the roof is actually ice. This is really the first snow we've got, and it's very light. It started out the, uh, with uh, sunshine earlier this morning. And we were supposed to be mostly dry today, but what's happening is some moisture coming out of the Gulf is tapping in and mixing with this cold air. And we're getting these light flurries and an overcast again. Now, the situation is going to change over the next few days. The temperatures are going to get a little warmer. As I'm doing the video, it's 16 degrees real field with about 20 degree uh, actual temperature. But uh, this is my driveway, my two dogs sitting up at the top. So I had to go down and uh, go to the mailbox this morning. This is part of the driveway. It goes up in curves. Like I said, we're in the middle of nowhere. But they always like to walk that way. But uh, they're a little frisky in the snow. They're not used to it. None of us are. Or, excuse me. This is ice with a very little snow on top of it but uh, probably two inches of ice if you again the uh, some of the roads are passable I, we haven't been in our driveway as you can tell i would probably use, only use my tractor for that but uh, this is the road going down at the other end of the driveway and you can see uh, on the paved road itself there's ice uh, and slush now we're in a hard freeze warning and notice the very southern tip of uh, texas louisiana all through our state part of uh, Louisiana into Arkansas in the southeast corner of Arkansas. The rest is winter storm warnings because there's another round coming, guys. You've got uh, the winter storm warnings, um, winter, winter weather advisories, and in this light blue in Utah and over into Colorado are large areas of avalanche warnings up also into uh, Washington State. So be careful with that. The, we've seen it. Uh, a couple of people already lose their lives this year because of these avalanches. And they, they can even come. Not You don't have to be snowing. They can come down on the highway. So all of our friends in that area be aware. Got winter weather advisories. Uh, wind chill warnings. Uh, wet, uh, winter weather watches out. Uh, gale warnings off the east coast as you can see. Guys in here in North Carolina last night. We lost some folks. A uh, tornado came through a neighborhood and just wiped out homes. And so think about that. And in Texas, we lost a few folks that were a family was trying to stay warm in their car. And uh, two of them in the hospital and two of them didn't make it. But again, here in Mississippi, so think about those folks. But here in Mississippi, it's supposed to be dry. But as you see, we're, we're getting those snow flurries. Now, this is snow. This is today's forecast. You've got in the uh, blue and in the pink line areas a mix between rain, sleet, and snow. And you can see this storm coming into Texas now. It's another round. It's coming into Arkansas and Louisiana. And notice in central Mississippi right here, we've got a lot of moisture in the Gulf that's uh, a thin layer, but it's tapped into this cold air, and that's why you're seeing the flurries here in the state. They're starting to push out and there's a head of the front that's coming in now one again one thing about it is in the next couple of days we, we may get above freezing and some a lot of people's pipes are frozen things like that the roads are messed up but it will be slushy now it's going to be several nights before that i think we're going to have maybe thursday it get above freezing during the daytime but here in the water vo uh, water vapor loops you can see what we're dealing with this light moisture off the gulf giving us the flutters but uh, flurries but here we got an uh, extreme dip in the arctic vortex again the storm that uh, took lives last night has moved off the coast except in the very northeast of the country in the southern tip of florida but uh, all you friends in the west again where you saw the avalanche warnings and uh, this is what you're dealing with now you a lot of this weather is coming over the phoenix area but i think phoenix is just a, a, about in the 50s so you're not going to get the wintry mess that we've got now but these orange clouds those are higher level and that's where the most of the moisture is and you can see again on the gulf of mexico pulling in that light snow all the way up through louisiana mississippi and up the appalachian chain there so the main problem is going to be these taller orange clouds in texas and coming out of new mexico now again this is today's forecast and they didn't count on that uh 
that moisture coming out of the Gulf. Tomorrow's forecast, you can see this mix of rain and sleet and ice has moved back over across. Uh, uh, it's in the East Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, our state, and up through the Appalachians. Going into Thursday, hasn't moved that much. See that? Just still look, kind of got one leg in Texas as the front is going to linger with us for a few days. But you're looking for the National Weather Service, the forecast charts, and you can check them out and, and get more local on them. But here are the current temperatures. Now, this was about an hour ago. 20 degrees here in our areas. It's warming up. The wind chill is much colder, but uh, and the real feel is colder. But look at how much of the nation is involved in these very low temperatures, from 8 degrees to minus 2, minus 1 here. And uh, it's, again, uh, we're just not used to it here. Usually when we see, if we do get a snow, a light snow every few years, and by that afternoon or the next day, the temperatures are usually up and it's melting away. But again, this is a uh, grand solar minimum. We're dealing with the collapse of the Arctic vortex, and that's where you're seeing these pink and purple areas right now where the coldest air is. And it's here uh, for the next few days. Now, in Texas, the, they're up to 4.4 million without power as the Texas blackouts are spreading again. Governor Abbott had said a couple of days ago they didn't really have any problems with the grid, but now he's awake and uh, he's gotten with some other politicians there and they're going to try to do something about it. But he's requested that LNG exporter Freeport to limit gas intake as domestic suppliers are low due to frozen wellheads. Winter blast in the plains expected to last through next weekend. Supplies literally frozen. Mid-continent uh, mid natural gas could hit very high levels. Following the power grid collapse in Texas, Abbott has released a statement Tuesday that has declared the reform of ERCOT, which is the electrical power people there. The uh, In the new legislature session, Abbott will pressure lawmakers to investigate ERCOT's failures and make sure rolling blackouts never happen again well good luck with that governor because it's not just uh lawmakers that are in charge of what's happening on this planet right now we are uh the, the good lord is in charge of that so i'm sure you could do a lot of improvement but right now your folks are in trouble says the uh, electric liability council of texas which is ERCOT has been anything but reliable over the past 48 hours, said Abbott. Far too many Texans are without power and heat for their homes as our state faces freezing temperatures and severe winter weather. He said it's unacceptable. Reviewing the preparations and decisions by ERCOT is an emergency item so we can get a full picture of what has caused this problem and find long-term solutions. And it's really just not being prepared that well for the weather but again here in texas four four million four hundred twenty three thousand the red states that you're seeing is one hundred thousand plus people without power the yellow states which we are one it is up to fifty thousand we were orange yesterday so they're doing a good job but what saved mississippi a good bit of it guys is we didn't get that all night sleet and rain and ice last night it eased up on us and, and it was supposed to last till six o'clock this morning but we got a break from that so thank you jesus for that because it would we been a lot more people here without power now we've been very fortunate and we still have ours now overnight the ERCOT prices rose up and down in the gray part you'll see the newer trading but it is uh down to around 18 or 1900 dollars uh, per megawatt hour and that's uh now if you compare it to the average of 25 dollars a kilowatt hour 1800 is still strong but it is at least it's not at 9000 or above they're saying the rolling blackouts have set off a chain reaction of problems some water treatment plants and cell phone networks are offline several metro areas across texas warned of water issues due to prolonged power outage at the water treatment plant in pflugerville they're saying boil your water we're working with encore to restore power but until further notice the city water customers must boil their water prior to consumption guys uh, the ice may be safer if you get, get some you know that we are seeing covering everything it may be safer than that water if you have a way to boil the ice even if you have to use your barbecue grill 
but um, in, or maybe you got gas stoves instead of all electric, or you have a wood burning heater. But the ice, you have that ability, would probably be safer than the water that they're trying to do with there. Also, cellular networks started to go offline as backup generators at towers are freezing or running out of fuel or both. And this was uh, the county judge, K.P. George, there, I guess, in Pflugerville, Texas. Cell phone service is starting to break down over the region as backup generators and towers are free, or at towers are freezing or, again, running out of fuel. And I'm, I'm sure... If the roads are the roads are probably a lot worse there than they are here, and so it's not as easy as you would think to get more fuel out to some of these places. So that uh, if you got friends there, family, uh, you can't get in touch with them. They may be okay. It's not going to hurt to check. But again, the cell phone communication, which is kind of critical, if you have power outages where you can't watch TV or in your local weather and see what's going on uh, in in the news. And what's coming at you, you did have your cell phones to at least look at YouTube and see some of our reports and other people's reports. But without cell phone communication, that's going to put a lot of people in the dark. So keep that in mind as you think about your friends or family in that area. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is keep an eye on the weather this evening and that storm that's coming out of uh, Texas into Louisiana now. We'll see what's happening uh, with the weather, with the gas prices, and any updates we can find. But uh, you guys, do your best to stay warm. It's a heads up. Be safe.